In this video, we're going to vectorize a signature, your signature perhaps. If you want to digitize it in Photoshop, I'll show you that at the end of this tutorial. But take a picture of your signature or scan it in and get it to your computer. I'm actually using a lower quality picture that I took on my iPhone, airdropped it to my computer, and let's vectorize it in Illustrator right now. Okay, so we're going to select a new file and none of this really matters, just hit create. And from here, I'm going to zoom out and kind of go down into the gray space. Since our signature is going to be on white, I want to make sure I can see it properly. So we'll do it down here. All right, so what we want to do is just pull in our image. So we could go to File and go down to Place. And then we're going to navigate to our image. So I'm going to go to my Downloads and then find this image JPEG that is the signature that I brought in, just like that right there. Okay. So we've got a bunch of dirty paper out here. I'm gonna show you how to isolate just this signature right there. First thing I wanna do, click on this, make sure my properties panel is open, window down to properties. And we've got this nice little crop image feature. And it basically says, hey, it's gonna embed this, yada, 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 okay, hit okay. No big deal. I'm gonna grab one corner, bring it down, grab the other corner, bring it up. And we're gonna just try to isolate in right here on this and get rid of the rest of that. Hit apply. And now we've got this image here. We're gonna click on this image, same thing over here in Quick action, Quick Actions. Wow, go to Image Trace. And I'm just gonna click Default because it's gonna look at this and know, hey, you probably want it to be a black and white image. Okay, so this little underneath Image Trace, you've got a trace panel. We can make adjustments here. So already it's isolated our signature, but we wanna look at this threshold amount here and make sure we're getting all the detail in our signature that we want. You see, if I increase the threshold, it's letting more pixels in. So obviously the paper's getting in now. If I decrease it, it's less. So now we barely have a signature at all. So we gotta find a sweet spot in here. So I would recommend just find that area that you like the look of your signature best. Then what we can do is go low on the paths, which is gonna be a little more choppy because there's less paths, or go high on the paths, which will render a little bit more detail. I would say just play with each of these to get your particular signature looking the way that you want it to look. The last thing you really need to pay attention to is this ignore white. You notice we still have a white background. We wanna check mark ignore white. It's gonna just get rid of the white. Once we have that set up, you can exit out of image trace. It's not ready yet. You actually need to expand this. So we can go down here to quick actions and simply hit expand. Now I just saw there's a lot of extra points potentially. So we're gonna take a look at that and make sure. First off, this guy is just a group now. So we can double click in and see if there's any extra points around here. I'm seeing a couple things here, but I don't actually, I think these are more like uh, my corner widget kind of being confused on where all the corners are. So those are not actually points. I'm holding a couple buttons right now to show this. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have any extra information out there. From the looks of it, we actually have only the signature, which is good. That's a good image trace. We didn't get any extra detail outside of our signature. That's what you want. If you did have anything extra, what we can do, and you'll notice we double clicked in here. So we're in layer one group, okay? If I double click back out, I'm not in anything. I'm actually just back on my artboard and this is all grouped together. So if I bring this up to my artboard, it might be easier to see for you guys. So this is a group, double click in, now I'm editing inside of the group, which means I have all these individual pieces that I could move around. But also, like I said, if I press Z and just click and drag, I can zoom in. There are pieces in here, if I did not want them, I can find them and just hit, hit the delete key, just like that. And now this is a vector shape, so we can edit this however we want. And if you don't like how many paths or points, I should say, are on here, if I press A for the direct selection tool that shows all these points, we can actually simplify this as well. So I'm gonna double click out of this group and go back to the main layer so I can just have this group as a whole. I can go up to edit down to, or no, object down to path and then find simplify. It's gonna pull open a simplify panel. It did an auto simplify. You might've noticed a slight change, but we can drag this to less points or more points just like that. So we can really simplify this and kind of go for the look that we want as I kind of look around and see, I really like maybe this curve and I can do that. And now it's completely simplified the points. And if I press A on here, you'll notice 
there are a heck of a lot less points on here than before. If I back that up, look at all these points compared to just a couple points, right? So we simplified this entire signature to include less points. It creates a little bit better of like a curvature in the signature, but you kind of want to play, you know, you might want some of that detail in there. You might not want it simplified, but I just kind of showed you how that could be simplified. So now we have this signature. It's on transparent. You can save this out. What you could do is just scale it up. Make sure you hold shift and you're not squeezing it together or anything. So hold shift. You can scale it up to the size of your artboard or you can press shift O and you can actually crop your artboard to the size of your signature, just like this. And now we could go to file and then save and we can save this as an AI. We can save it as an EPS file. We can even save it as a PDF or SVG just from right there. The other thing you can do is go down to go up to file down to export and do export for screens or export as we'll click export as and see what that does. So we're exporting. I'm going to use the artboards here and just say all artboards since I just have the one and we can export this as a PNG and you can just name it like that and click export. So that's how you can get a PNG out of this as well. Mainly though, I'm showing you how to vectorize this so you can keep it in a vector format and scale it without losing quality. If you just want to digitize and maybe get a little extra detail in your signature in Photoshop, I've got a video on the screen right now or linked down below.